Welcome back to another video of Breath of Wild and on a Zelda game here. I am your host, Survival Man 1. Uh, so, in this video, we're going to cover two elements today. Um, which is the flame and the electric weapons. Which, I do have two locations marked on the map, which you all may already have know where they're all at. But I do want to cover a, a little bit of a mistake in my opinion. So, over here, uh, when I discussed in my last video, I just, I overlooked one spot of, of a spear. And I came over here and then there was one here. So, if you, um, apparently, if you go to the war Warbler's Nest, go to the shrine here, and then go north and climb up the mountain. Make sure you have the snow quill armor. Otherwise, uh, you'll be getting hurt in the cold climates. So keep that in mind. I will not show you that because uh, in this video, I'll be showing you the main locations of where to find certain element weapons. So for starters, we are going to do the flame blade. So, the Flame Blade, however, is in the Colosseum, as you already know, in my previous video. But, if you go over here to this marked pin in the Elden Mountains, okay, to get here, there are multiple ways of getting here. So, I, however, will try to make this short as possible. So, we're going to go to... To this shrine at Gut, Ch Gut Check Rock. Okay, we're gonna go here. And by the way, I finally got the Tears of the Kingdom, and I do want to make sure I know what I'm doing in that game. And I was thinking doing a walkthrough of that game, and. Um, see if I can actually do that so I'm hoping I can do that at some point once I get the hang of the game of course uh, since being that I'm here at the gut check rock okay we're gonna go to my armor here we are going to let's see since it's not really that that much temperature and heat However, I am going to prevent myself from getting too hot. So to do so, we are going to equip me a a blizzard rod. Um, let me tell you something about elemental weapons. That if you have either the ice or the fire elemental weapons, um, it adds a bit of a temperature increase or decrease depending on the temperature you're currently at, like Death Mountain, Ice Rods, or anything that ice in its name, um, will give you a little bit more better, uh, perspective on temperature. But it will not work in Death Mountain. Why? Uh, because Death Mountain, of course, is the hottest so far in this game. Uh, so I will, uh, I will show you that when I'm there, but I've got enemies here, but I'm going to try to avoid them as possible. Okay, so then I don't have to worry about enemies to deal with right now, but there are enemies down here. Alright, now, from this perspective point, there's a red beam right here. There's a, the Elden Skeleton sitting there. Underneath that is two um, flame weapons uh the great flame blade and the original flame blade which is only found here at this location so we're going to glide on down and i'm going to show you from a distance without having to battle for it okay but you do have to battle your way through it in order to get both weapons keep that in mind 
So we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the best I can. Is get as close as I can without being seen, of course. Because once you get seen, you do have to battle, unless you teleport out of there before they strike, which is always a good thing in my way of looking at it. All right. So there's a great flame blade sticking in the ground, and there's a great flame blade being held by, I believe, a moblin, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's get as close as we can get, so you can see where to look. You do have to be underneath um, uh, this skeleton in order to see this exact types of weapons. But do not get close if you do not want to fight. But if you do want the weapons, you do have to fight your way into this. Alright, now, I'm going to stand right here, and I'm going to get as close as I can. See that weapon right here? That is the Great Flame Blade. It's sticking in the ground because there's nobody that is wielding it. That is a free for grabs, pretty much. However... There's a moblin, just from a distance here. I'm going to get as close as I can get since I'm in. He, however, is holding the flame blade itself. Okay, so you have to fight the moblin and get yourself out. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Because <laughs> I'll tell you. There are a plethora of enemies here, so you want to be very careful of how you go about this situation. In my game, there are silver enemies here too as well. So this is a better angle of the flame blade from here. So you do have to fight the moblin, like I told you. So, two of those locations right here. Okay. Now let's go to another location for... Um, for or uh, let's see, where else would a flame blade a flame blade will be at located? Well, that is the only one so far I know. However, we're gonna go down on the list as quick as possible. Right in here, the ancient tree stump, you will find the great flame blade sitting right here. Um But as far as the flame spear, however, alright, as far as for the f flame spear, I, however, am holding one, okay? Um, I will make a, a separate video of how to find that, as of right now, but the only location so far I know is in the Colosseum Ruins. So that's where you would find the Flame Spear. Okay? Just for right now, that's what I know so far. Alright, now, as far as for the elemental weapons, we have the electric ones left. So, as for starters, the Thunder Blade. Okay, so, there is a couple of locations for this. Thunder Blade by itself. Colosseum Ruins is one. And Hyrule Castle. Uh, in here, it's in a, um, it's un it's under, it's in, it's underground, and you have to, you have to find a certain path, and once you come across with a moblin at the top of the stairs, and beyond him, after you get past that area, of course, uh, will be the thunder blade right after him. So if you beat him, or defeat him, you get the thunder blade on the other side, up the stairs and it's sticking in the ground. So it's very easy grabs right there without having to fight for it. It besides you dealing with a moblin on the way. But that's about it for that for Thunder Blades. Um for great Thunder Blades. Um of course you will find it here in the Colosseum Ruins. Um the other location I will show you where exactly where to find it. It's a really easy grab. You don't really have to work so hard and the Kuhu Mountain, right here, right inside here. So let's mark that, and 
Let's go quickly there. Let's go to this tower. Tabantha Tower, we're heading to. <clears throat> All right, so now, since we're at Tabantha Tower, I know I do have the Sheikah armor on as well, but it doesn't really harm me here since it's not that cold up here anyway. However, I will remove that. And I will equip myself with the meteor rod. Why? Because the, the climate here is a little, little chilly. So, so from here, we're going to glide right up into these rocks right here. There's a purpose of why we're going to here because this is an easy grab. All you have to do is just grab it just from right in, it's sticking in the ground. So you don't have to fight for this one. So it's an easy grab. So there's no problems here. Besides a, a, a whiz rope sitting right over here. So we're going to go to the left and around to find an opening over here. Okay, we're gonna go over here, find an opening over here. Avoid enemies as possible, if you know what I'm talking about. All right, right here is the Great Thunder Blade sitting right here in the middle of everything here. So, keep in mind, if you want a Great Thunder Blade, there you go sitting right here. So, next up, we have the Thunder Spear, which is very easy to find. Uh, of course, Colosseum Ruins. Of course, you gotta fight your way to get to it. Um, which, in my first video of the guide through of this, that you have to find it and find the one that's holding it. However, here's a pin I marked. If you go right up in here, Next to Tall Tall Peak, uh, you would find a Moblin that is holding a Thunder Spear sitting right here. So, I will show you that here. Let me get to a closest um, shrine, of course. Let's go there. I'm doing the best I can to help you guys out finding all these elemental weapons. I am uh, doing research on the sidelines to, to help you guys out. So I will be more of your guide person on the Breath of the Wild. So if you need tips on how to find a particular weapon, please leave it in the comments mm -hmm. below and I will do the best I can to do research before I make a video of how to find it. So. Keep that in mind if you are aware of video-wise, okay? And tips and tutorials of how to find something that you really want, and I'll do the best I can to help you find it. Okay, now, since I'm here, we're going to get the climbing gear on. Uh, um, another tip, um, always keep in mind, uh, keep an eye on the weather conditions, so that way you are climbing at the right time at the right place. So always keep in mind of that, because that's going to help you in the long run. Um, fallen rocks always kind of win if you're not careful. So we're going to go as far as we can go. As you can see, it is cloudy right now. But there is no rain in the forecast, which is good, but also bad if you're not careful. Because sometimes clouds kind of trick you in, in some cases. So the climbing gear allows you to go faster if you have the full gear and have it upgraded to this two-star perspective. 
um, allows you to climb with the stamina um, upgrade to go with the set. If you have the full set and have it at two stars with the great fairies, there you go. You're all set. So it's always two stars for each upgrade for for the full set, depending on the set that you use. Like, for example, if you have the rubber armor at one star on all three of them, well, it's not going to help you being unshockable. So, keep that in mind. If it's two star, all three of them, all across the board, then you will be able to be unshockable, meaning you will not get electrocuted. And also, a benefit for that is that you won't be able to drop your uh, weapons, for that matter. So, it helps prevent losing the weapons, and also, at the same time, uh, giving access to the enemies that you're facing have a better option of a weapon towards you. So, keep that in mind. That's a tip from me. Keep that in mind. Alright, so I'm up a little bit further, but I still have a ways to climb. Uh, so, yeah, it's taking a little bit, but you know what? I could deal with this, but let's get a little faster, shall we? So, here's another tip to keep in mind. Uh, the clock in the game... Every minute goes by in real time. In game is a solid hour. So keep that in mind if you want to make sure you have the amount of time needed to get where you need to go in the right amount of time. So 24 minutes is totally a total of 24 hours in game. The reason for that is, is I did a test on the clock uh, myself without having to do any research on the uh, internet. It says one minute. Me, literally, I'm telling you, it's one minute per hour in-game. So, if it says, uh, like say, your Master Sword, it says ten minutes to recharge. Well, in-game, you have to wait ten hours. But in real time, ten minutes. Keep that in mind. So always keep an eye on the clock as soon as one of those, uh, like the power-ups in this game, like, uh, for example, Daruk's Protection. If the timer runs out, however, that means if the, if, the, if the time goes out, which means that you would have to look at the clock and then whatever time that you have to wait, and then all you have to do from there is add, like, put on the clock and think ahead of how many minutes you have to add on to the clock and what, what time you have to wait until it's ready to, for you. So, let's say the Master Sword is 10 minutes, right? Well, it is 3.25 in game, so you would have to wait 10 minutes. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1... So then you would have to wait until 1.25, just for that. So, you always have to look at the clock as soon as one of your power-ups or the sword breaks, or loses its power. So you always have to remember on that notion. Alright, so, um, from this perspective, okay? So from here, there are some trees over here, right? Right over here in the alcove that way is a, a moblin and some electric choo-choos and a uh, bokoblin as well. Uh, so you would go over here and the moblin is the one you fight to get the thunder spear. However, if you have a Urbosa's Fury, you can shock all the enemies at once, pick up the thunder spear, and leave. You could do it that way too if you want it. Prevent the fight, it, but it drops the items that they're holding. So it gives you enough time to grab the item and leave. Simple. But I'm not going to fight here to, to show you what's, what tips you need to do. But if you want me to, leave in the comments below and I'll show you how to get past each area without having to fight something. So keep that in mind if you want me to show you tips on that. 
but leave it in the comments below, please, will be appreciated. All right, so from here, uh, as you can see, there is two bokeh blends right here. Bokeh blend, bokeh blend, choo-choo, and the moblin. The moblin is the one that holds the thunder spear. So you want to be fighting this one to get that. So those are the elemental weapons for um, that you have to find. So as of right now, the only only one that I feel that you guys are struggling to find is the frost spear, or not the frost spear, the frost blade, which means that it's only found in treasure chests so far, as far as I've seen on the internet. It doesn't say exactly where to find it, except except the Colosseum, of course. It doesn't say anything besides the Colosseum or where you can find it. Um, which means you have to fight the right one to get that. Um, but as far as elemental weapons go, um, if you want to see another tutorial on how to find certain weapons, please leave in the comments below and I will do the best I can to find it. And then again, if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and also subscribe for more of these videos. Please do so because it will help me get a long way. However, I will catch you in the next episodes of Breath of the Wild. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.